and welcome to the Cornwall Reports News Briefing for Wednesday the 3rd of April. The local media headlines today. It looks as if plans to use St Ives Bay as a guinea pig for testing chemicals as a means of combating climate change are going to get the go-ahead. The Water Research Council says it sees nothing wrong with the idea and the Environment Agency says the threat to local wildlife is only low. I think if I was asked to swim in an ocean which I knew had been treated with magnesium hydroxide, I'd want a second opinion and a bit more than just a desk study. The experiment is to devise a commercial application for increasing the absorption of atmospheric carbon. It's all getting jolly interesting on the local political scene, with the Tories likely to get quite a kicking in Plymouth next month. There's a Cornwall Council by-election in Lou tomorrow. There's a potential planning rumpus in Porth Leven over plans to sell fresh lobsters from a shipping container. And could you do any better? Plymouth Argyle needs a new manager only three months after hiring the last one. The BBC congratulated local councillors in Bude for getting a bit closer to providing the town with a skate park. It's been talked about for years, now the local council's appointed a contractor to take the project forward. The Falmouth Packet had an update on that police investigation into the criminal damage of speed cameras. The Cornish and Devon Post welcomed the reopening of Launceston's leisure centre after a brief technical issue with the swimming pool. The Cornish Times again looks forward to this year's D-Day commemorations. And finally, Cornwall Live is already excited about this year's Boardmasters Festival at Newquay. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.